Mo is going to teach you how to build a play rail. <laughs> Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino, aka Bob the Builder. Today I'm with Bob the Builder number two. We can do it, so can Bob. Bob Fisher, Mo the Builder. Anyway, I don't really know the name, but I do know that Mo is going to teach you how to build a play rail. Mo? I like to call it a step on because she can step on it. Nah, you shouldn't be stepping, Mo. You should jump onto it. You, you, you should be stepping into the rail. You should just go for it. Go for it then. With okay. speed. Mo is a downhill skater and two days ago Mo skated in our play rail, that one there, for the first time and at first he could only do backsides. By the end of the day, how many grounds could he do? I think it was like 12 or 13. Half an hour he learned how to Soul, Mizu, Acid, Pornstar, Maku, uh, backside, switch backside and then he learned all the topside ones and then he even learned how to stall in a kind grind. So, you learned you can also learn and that's why today we're gonna teach you how to build one of these play rails so that you can learn faster yeah so Mo what do we need to build this play rail okay so what we'll be needing here is a little baton I think this is a two by four if I'm not mistaken one per one and a half inch if you're in America and we also need a nice piece of PVC uh, it's, it's a, a two inch PVC it's like around five centimeters around five centimeters and this one is about, I would say it's 2 per 35, something like that, which is about one and a half inch per inch. Okay, so there you got it, that's what we need. And then also we're gonna need some flat pieces of wood to basically make a base for our two by four to get on and get fixed onto there. And then of course our PVC pipe. You're getting too complicated, Mo. You're gonna need one of these to be the base and then, and then this one to be the structure on top of the base, which is this one. And then the other two will be the walls of the rail and the base for this. Check what Mo's about to do. Yeah, let's build this play rail. So firstly, we wanna of course build the main structure. Basically the, the one that is going to be the structure, the skeleton is going on top of the base here. And then you wanna show the other two what we're gonna do with the other two. And then what do we create on top? We create a little bed for... What are you going to say about that? Little play rail. That's all really basic, but now we need to fix it. How are we going to fix this? The first thing that we're going to do is... Check this. You put the... You put the skeleton down and the base on top. You're going to center it, just like that, and you're going to screw it from the top. Mo is going to do it right now and you can see it. Now what do we need more? Um, we need to place the rail on top of our structure that we created. And how do you put the rail in there? Um, we're going to have to drill some holes into our PVC and then we're going to squeeze some screws right through the PVC into our bed. Okay, you want to do that? Yep. So Mo just said that his wood, woodworking skills are not the best. Let's see with the PVC. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say it, sorry. So basically now we're gonna open a hole on the top of the PVC. How did you do it on the other one? Only three. Yeah, just three. three. This is a 2.4 meter rail, which is about, I'm sorry, I don't know in feet. Anyway, 2.4 meter rail, we only did three holes. I think Mo is more of a PVC guy. <laughs> uh, I, I think Mo is more of a skater, eh? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Okay, now you wanna put the screws on? Yeah. Basically, in the top layer of our PVC, we just created a hole with a nice thick drill bit. So we can force our screw straight through there and into the bottom part of the PVC so we can screw it down onto our structure that we just built. So, as you guys can see over here, that the, our screw head doesn't really fit through. 
but that is done intentionally so we can actually just force it through What we're gonna do with this mo? So this little play rail was actually made for the USD kids. If you guys remember Michael and Elijah, they're like um, known as the super grams in aggressive skating down in Cape Town. And this one's for them. Yeah, basically their grinding game, which is perfectly normal because they're super young, is still super basic. They've been doing like front sides and back sides on ramps. With these, they're gonna learn how to get more tech. So, we're gonna give them this rail. You're gonna see us giving this rail to them. And then, probably in the next videos, you're gonna, be, you're gonna check some more tech tricks from Elijah and Michael. Stay tuned, guys. Let's wait for them to come now. Do you like the rail? Yes. Okay, you can get it, it's yours. Thank you. <laughs> You'll get it. It's for the two of you, okay? Gonna get it in your car. Yeah, they're gonna get in the car. Just open the two passenger windows. <laughs> open the driver's window and you open the other side window. Just put it out like that. Next time I see you, I want to see what's the new grinds. You have any idea what you're gonna do? Mm -hmm. I Tell me the name of a grind. What are we gonna do? So grind. I didn't forget. I got a USD bag. Show me. Come here, back. Okay, Michael. Bye. Enjoy the rail. Thank you. You can put that in the street in front of your house now. And that's how you make two kids happy. I hope you learned something today. I hope you now know how to make a play rail. And I want to see your play rails. Let me know if you learn it. If there was, if you have any doubts about it and something that I can help you with. And other than that, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down, but let me know what you didn't like about this video. What did me or Mo did wrong in this video? And, and like I always say, the most important thing is to not forget why we all started skating, because it's fun. Cheers guys, see you soon.